Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. I'm about to embark on the final week, week 15 of online distance learning. Yes, 15 weeks of distance learning. It has been quite long in some ways, but I'm excited to share some certificates that I've created with the children next week. Those certificates were created on Google Slides. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to effectively use Google Slides to create Bitmoji type certificates. At the same time, we're going to also look at up-leveling, hopefully, your skills using Google Slides and look at a range of ways that you can use different fonts, but also adapt the fonts to suit different colors and make things look quite effective. So recently, Michelle Ferre, or Pocket Full of Primary, as she is known on YouTube, created a video all about the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory themed day that she created for her class. Now, I'm actually doing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as a theme for my class. One of the resources that she created and shared within that video was the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory candy certificates. And I thought, amazing, I don't usually buy resources. In fact, I think that's probably one of the first resources I've actually bought off teachers, pay teachers. But I thought, fantastic, I'll use some of the ideas within that and I'll just be able to use that resource and adapt it to my class. However, when I saw the different certificates, they were very culturally adapted towards America. Quite obviously, she's an American primary school teacher or elementary school teacher, as they say there. And sadly, I couldn't change the titles. So I found myself creating similar uh, certificates, but also adapting some of the different titles and text to suit the cultural needs of my class. So let's jump into how you would create the different certificates, what I've created to start off with, and then that tutorial. So what I wanted to do is just show you some of the certificates that I've made. Yes, there are more ideas available, and I did take, obviously, some of the ideas that I paid for from uh, Pocket Full of Primary, but I'm not going to share those because those are her ideas. There are more ideas and certificates available on Teachers Pay Teachers. What I'm going to do with these ones that I've created is just share them on this YouTube video. I'm not going to get you to charge. Yes, they are free. I believe in trying to share more resources freely and yeah, hopefully someone can take advantage of this. So yeah, essentially what it is, you've got a Bitmoji in the corner, some different text, we're gonna look into how you create that. And then this is just a text box and I've got an animation on it. So we'll look at that one as well. Uh, at the moment we've got Jelly Baby for being soft and sweet, licorice all sorts. As you can see, these are things that we have in the UK but don't in the, UA, uh, in the USA. So that's why I've created it the way I have for exceeding in all sorts of activities. See what I did there? Curly whirly, flexible with whatever task is set. Uh, love hearts, you will have the most loving heart. Kinder bueno, always full of pleasant surprises. You get the idea. So if we press present, so when we have present, I'll be reading this out and I'll say, right, the Jelly Baby Award goes to someone for being so soft and sweet all the time, a little bit of conversation, and it goes to, Jeff, well done, Jeff. And you get the idea with that. So here we have a blank presentation, as you can see. So let's just jump into how we create this straight away. So we're going to delete this, delete this. We don't need this. We're going to want a nice fancy border like before. So the first thing we're going to do is now you'll struggle to insert a, a border. So you're just going to want to insert a shape instead. And it's just going to be a shape like this. And we're just going to pull it. My actual pitch is getting in the way. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that this is blank. We're going to look at the lines up in the top in this area here. And we're just, from there, we're going to just make sure that the border weight is a little bit higher to make that, that border look complete. Now it's gray for some reason, so we'll just tap back on it and make sure it's black. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to insert text. And we'll just experiment with this. Let's just go for 60 and bring that across there. Now, once you've changed the size, you'll notice that the text is a little bit boring. Google has a range of different texts available, and these aren't the only ones that are on here. If we click on more fonts, you will find more fonts available, and you can keep, keep dragging down. There's, there's lots of different fonts available. Uh, the one that I used was Emily's Candy, and we can see that one there. Uh, that's on my fonts already. There's lots available. I've struggled to download custom fonts. 
However, I have found this add-on called Extensis Fonts. You download that in the Google Chrome add-ons. If you've not seen my Google Chrome add-on video, it's very insightful and will give you lots of different video, uh, different add-ons that you can use for Google Classroom and things like that. Uh, we press Start, and we look for some of the fonts that we want down here. You can just look out. So I want something that has nice uh, handwriting. So once you've chosen the font that you would like, this time I've just gone for, for Rancho, something a little bit different, then what you need to do is look at the, the picture and insert some things that way for the name. So we've got Basketball Award there. We're going to close this down. We're going to just put a line like we had before and make sure that's nice and straight. Change the weighting of the line like before. Move it about. And from there, we're just going to put a text box. Again, we're gonna put Bob this time. So to save you time, uh, what I've done is just type up something. Now, you will probably see that it's not as good looking as the other one. So you can obviously mess around with this and you might see that here, if you look at this side bit, you'll see that they actually have bold. So we'll put that one as bold. So now you can see that I've just had a mess around with the text. What I've done is look at here. You can see that this one looks the same text, but what I've done with the Montserrat is on this one, I've gone to across the handle and put semi bold. This one here is the same, but instead I've gone across the handle and gone light. So it just gives that little bit of contrast. Then Bitmoji, here we go. We've got all sorts of Bitmojis available for basketball, I do believe. Sometimes it is hard to find what Bitmoji to use. So if you download mine for free, then you'll see, hopefully, that in the bottom corner, you can see what I typed in to find that Bitmoji. And we're just gonna flip this guy around so that he's looking the award. And there we go. So now from there, I actually want the text to be orange, but I want it to be really specifically that color orange. So I'm gonna add this text here and I'm going to pick color from page using Colorzilla, which is a Google Chrome extension. So I'm gonna to touch that and you'll see that it changes at the top. If I'm on the white or if I'm on the skin tone, I want the brighter part of the basketball just there. Uh, now you'll see it said copy to clipboard. What that means is if I highlight this and tap whatever text color I want, sorry, text color there, if I tap that, go to custom, then I can press Control V, and that color will then pop up whatever color we've picked. Then you can see that that's changed there. You can also then do the same with the border colors on shapes. So if I wanted the border color to be orange too, that then has changed, and you can see it's starting to take shape. If I wanna add animations, as I did before when I showed you, then I'm going to go onto it, I'm going to right click and just animate. I left it with a simple one. You can get quite complex with it, change the different ways that it comes in, whether you do it with a timer, a bit like Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, but I'm just going to leave it as it is there for now. You've got basketball award, no matter what challenges you face, always bounce back with a smile, as we said before, and we say it goes to Bob. Well done, Bob. So that marks the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you've learned something different in this video and you'll be able to apply the skills that you've learned in this video, not only to creating certificates, but also to creating decent lessons through Google Slides 2 and all sorts of different things. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe in whichever corner it is nowadays. Until the next time I see you, I'm